Hey there YouTubers, today I'm back with the video in which we will be looking at Android Q beta program on the Google Pixel 2. Let's go through what has changed. The first major change you can see is in the settings. So this has become round, all these icons have become round now and we have an extra tab for privacy uh, and the security thing has changed, the security icon has changed a bit. Also, the Android Q on tapping still shows the Pi's animation. This is still the Pi's animation, but I'm still I'm running Android Q. The next noticeable change is that a feedback app is added. Also, all the playground emojis, the play emojis have come to the app tray. All these are just play emojis and they've moved to the app tray. There is no overall change in Android Q, but the notification center has surely changed. So we have the new icon shapes. This is a proper squircle and everything has become divided now based on what it is. So this over here has been divided from the regular notifications because this is a place to update. And uh, there is another division over here. It's, it's all rounded now. Before it used to be a continuous rectangle. Now it's rounded. Another thing to notice is, is that the developer options have changed a lot. We have new set of options which can be seen in the end. So we have theming as an option now and this changes the device's accent color head, the font and the icon shapes. So right now this is set to squircle. So these icon shapes are squircle right now. And if I want, I can change the accent color to three given colors excluding blue so this is green now then we have purple we have black and the device default blue okay what else does this change this also changes this color yeah the font the font is changed to some boring font yeah i like the original one and icon shapes can be seen on the home screen and I guess the notifications also yes this has also become teardrop the most noticeable change that all beta members might have seen is that we now have a feedback app so Google is going to take feedback from us for the beta program based on how we are feeling so we can report an issue directly from this app what's happening and all that <coughs> anything wrong and how it happens what can be done for it also this new thing that I liked is the feature request which is missing for the Pi's beta so now we can directly request a feature and oh it says attach files also so we can attach files very good other feedback and all that's it moving on the files app has changed it has got updated along with the software update and not separately so now we have this new material design even for the files app so everything is now white and clean i guess we have a dark mode for this no we don't have it the in-app dark mode is not there for this app as of now but now it seems easier to use overall all apps have changed to this material design it's all white now even the phone contacts Oh, I just noticed something that the app opening animation has just changed a bit. See that pop up? It opens up like some bubble or something. Yeah. There are two more changes. Uh, one is that the lock screen has changed a bit. We have a bigger lock icon over here. I can't show it because the screen recorder won't record on lock screen. And the other thing is that when we used to cut a call, it used to make a very loud sound. Now it's a soft sound. It's like a very soft sound. Before it used to be a loud beep and that was like there were quite a few complaints asking Google to stop it and change it so they've done it in Android Q. Next we have an option to undo an item removed from the home screen from that small icon over there and uh, we now get music by spotify for alarm sounds so this is alarm sound 
I have the regular ringtones here and I can also opt for Spotify. Oh, it's still loading. Okay, we can leave that. Then there are some material Google Assistant. So all this is now rounded. Before it used to be square or slightly less rounded. And uh, this is what it is now. Then we have this accessibilities man over here who helps us zoom in and zoom out. And uh, I think the most major change uh, is in the battery saver. Now we have an all device dark theme, like the dark theme is all over the device. So as you can see now it's all dark just because of the battery saver. So as I turn it off everything becomes white. But just when I turn the battery saver on, See, everything's black now. Even the app strays become dark. Now, it was, it was not dark before, uh, but everything has changed to dark mode. Yeah. The last change for this video is, uh, when you go to the storage, uh, sorry, when you go to the apps, now this, this has changed here. We used to have uh, rectangles here which were not so colorful now we have no now, now this is colorful and then we like everything's changed here we have a design change as you can see and uh, then in some of the apps we ah, okay now we have this digital well-being in this place itself the time spent in app which we had to previously check only in this app, the digital well-being app. But now we can see it from the app info itself. So that's it for this video. I will be back with more videos updating all of you about Android Q beta program. If you like my video, please hit that thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.